In this series of videos on Edison, the new audio editor that's made its debut in FL Studio 7, we'll be taking a look at what this excellent audio editor has to offer. The interesting thing about Edison that is unlike most audio editors found within DAW applications is that Edison can be thought of as an editor in itself. You can load an instance of the editor within FL Studio and open audio files directly into it. Or you can load a sample directly from the playlist editor. Now that we have a sample, in this first video, we'll be taking a look at some of the basic features and controls of Edison. Along the top of the player are the basic playback controls, which are fairly self explanatory. Clicking on the loop button will begin the playback in loop mode. Click on the loop button again to disengage the playback. Clicking on the play button, of course, plays the loaded file in a one shot mode. The record button will record audio from your input of your interface into Edison. As we are discussing recording, let's take a look at some of the options available when recording in Edison. To the left of the record button, there are a few options. These options will affect how Edison will record your audio. When you select the Now option, as soon as you hit the record button, recording will begin. When On Input is selected, recording will begin once Edison detects audio level at the input of your audio interface. Edison will continue to record until you press Stop. When Input is selected, recording works much like it does with On Input. Recording starts once an audio level is detected at your input. However, the difference here is that recording will pause when no input is detected. If an input is detected again before you press stop, then Edison will automatically begin recording again at this point where it left off. This record method can be useful if you are doing one-off shots, for example, of vocal ad-libs. The last method is on play recording. This method can be quite useful if you want to be sure that your recording matches the same time signature as your current song. When this mode is selected, recording will begin once you have started playback of FL Studio itself, and cease recording once you have stopped FL Studio's playback. To use this, click on the record button to activate recording. You will notice that recording does not actually begin at this point. Once recording is activated, start the playback of FL Studio. At this point, recording into Edison will begin. When recording audio into Edison, you are not recording to a currently open FL Studio project. There is a way, however, to quickly add this audio to your playlist. Simply click and hold on the drag button to drag down to where on the playlist you want to place this audio. When dragging your audio from Edison to your playlist, there may be times where the tempo of your audio will not match the tempo of your FL Studio project. Edison supports a wide variety of audio formats, including REX files and ACID loop WAV files. These formats support slices in the audio, which allow Edison to work out the tempo of the loaded file. This is displayed in the information lane above the audio waveform display. From this, we can change the project's tempo to match that of our loaded audio file. Now, there may be a situation where you'd want to do the opposite and change the audio file's tempo to match that of your FL Studio project. Or perhaps you loaded an audio file that does not support slices and Edison was unable to work out the file's tempo. You can tell Edison what the tempo of this audio file is by clicking on the Format button and choosing Edit Properties. Under the Tempo section, you can enter the desired tempo for this audio. A tip here might be to enter the tempo of your current project. This way, when you drag the audio to your playlist, there should be no tempo mismatches. To enter this value, you can either type it in to the tempo field or just hit the default button. Now, this may not produce the desired results every time. You may want to have Edison scan the file, decide based on the transients of the audio what the best tempo is. There are two ways of doing this. The first way is to perform a quick guess, where Edison will quickly scan the file to detect the tempo. This method is best for shorter loops. The other method would be to use the Auto Detect option. This does the same thing as Quick Guess, but is more suited for longer audio files such as a song. 
In this video, we took a look at getting audio into Edison by means of recording audio into it or by opening an audio clip from the studio's playlist. We also had a look at getting audio from Edison to your playlist as well as matching tempos. In the next video on Edison, we'll be taking a look at some of the basic editing operations.